What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, a place for entrepreneurs and content creators looking to build your brand, business, and impact. And y'all, today, this is the video for you if you are trying to grow your YouTube channel because I am about to share with y'all a secret weapon to growing your channel. So today's video is sponsored by vidIQ and I have enjoyed using vidIQ for quite a while now. It is a great tool for helping you optimize your channel. And I know it can be very overwhelming and intimidating to start a YouTube channel right now, but you guys, it is so possible. And I'm telling you, this is such a great tool for you to use, whether you have a new channel, um, whether you're about to start a channel, or whether you have a channel that you've grown and you just want it to continue to grow. It really, it's a great tool to supercharge your channel where Wherever you are in your YouTube career. One of the best things you can do for your channel is paying attention to your analytics. And going in the back end of your YouTube channel can be very confusing. You may not know really what to pay attention to, what certain things mean, and vidIQ makes it really easy for you to navigate those analytics because they kind of tell you what you need to know without you having to figure out what the analytics mean. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite features of vidIQ, the things that I use to help my channel continue to grow, for my views to continue to go up, and to just get a great edge on my channel. So here's how vidIQ works. You go to the website, I will leave all of the information in the description box below, and once you get to the website, you're gonna pick your plan. I have the boost plan. I find that it is the most robust, it gives the most features, and you really get the most bang for your buck. Um, and then once you choose your plan, you go ahead and uh, download the Chrome extension. And that way, when you go to youtube.com using Google Chrome, you will be able to see all of the analytics, all of the cool features that vidIQ allows right when you go to YouTube. So your YouTube channel may look a little bit different because it's gonna have a sidebar with different analytics and great quality information that you want to know about your channel, which you will see as soon as we hop on the computer screen and I'm gonna start breaking down some of my favorite features. Okay, so here is my channel with the vidIQ extension. You can see there's this bar up here that allows you to um, see some important stats on like how many views you're getting in the last hour, in the last 48 hours, and then there are some features in here that we're gonna go through. Firstly though, I wanted to show you what my channel looks like. Um, it's going to show you this percentage is your like to dislike ratio. So most of my videos has a good amount of like to dislike ratio. Thank God I don't have that many trolls. I love you guys. Um, and so that is just a little bit, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how it looks different on your channel. Now there's this top keywords button. I believe this is top keywords in my niche or according to some of the competitors that I've entered into my competitor's tool, which you guys will see soon. Um, and then they have a trending tab, which are the videos on my channel that have the highest view velocity. So basically view velocity is views per hour. So the videos that are getting the most traction per hour are the ones they will consider trending on my channel, which is usually my latest upload. And then it kind of falls down unless it's a video that doing really well. This video was uploaded seven months ago and it's still gaining a lot of traction, both of these videos. All of these videos are some of my older videos. And so when you have high view velocity and they are older videos, that means that that video is still performing really well. Um, so it's bringing a lot of traffic into my channel. But if this is a good place to look to see what are the hot videos on my channel? What are people watching or still watching that I can double down on and create more videos on? Um, and then your stats. So um, on here, we can see from uh, uh, July 22nd to August 21st, which is about the last month, how my channel is performing with some basic stats. Uh, you can see my views, my subscribers, and how many videos I've published. So good information. And then it also, a little bonus is that it shares with you your Instagram followers as well. All right, so the first tool I wanna share with you guys is the competitor tool. This is a great way to kind of analyze what people in your niche 
are creating content about and how their videos are performing. And I think this is particularly good for new YouTubers who um, are kind of trying to get in a niche and kind of want to hop on certain trends or things that are performing really well by their competitors. I'm not like scouring my competitors channels to see like how to copy or how to create videos similar to theirs, but it is a great thing to look at just to see, make sure you're keeping a good pulse, keeping up with things that everyone else is talking about, adding your own perspective and uniqueness. But particularly when you're a new YouTuber and you don't have analytics to really help guide you for your own channel, this is a great way to kind of see what is performing well and how you can hop on that but of course adding your own unique spin so i added a few um competitor channels in here all channels which i love i think they're all amazing creators and um we can see their channels populating so all time views um, you can see that we all have kind of a different number of views, but you can also look at subscribers, videos, average views per day, average subs per day, average videos per day. Um, and so this is a great tool to get a snapshot of what is happening in your niche. Then down here, you can go a step further and analyze their views per hour. So Karen Bond's latest video is getting uh, 158.2 views per hour which is really good so it's getting a great view velocity which is basically how many views you're getting per hour so you can see that type of information down here I think knowing the views per hour is a lot more resourceful than just straight up views because views per hour is going to show you like how much momentum this video has or still has even if it's a little older like this video was from 25 days ago and it's you know, its view velocity is still pretty good. So this is a great way to analyze some analytics that aren't only on your channel, but it can kind of help spark some interest in creating videos on different topics or similar topics to ones that are doing well on other people's channels. So that is the competitor tool. Very helpful. All right, so the second feature is the channel audit, which is one of the main things I rely on vidIQ for, for really, good information on my channel and this is where you can really get a good snapshot of how your channel is performing without having to really dig in so many youtube analytics so overall you can see my channel is about you know doing 14 percent higher of month over month views or views per month. So last month I did about 370,000 views. This month I have um, over 420 views. Uh, subscribers gained, I got a little bit more subscribers this month. And then um, minutes watched also went up. So that's the goal. You do wanna see your channel uh, stats going up, especially as you're gaining more subscribers. You wanna see those watch time numbers go up, those views going up. So this is a great way to get a good view of that. And then you can change the time period as well. Now, as we go down, this is really what I love. It tells you what content to double down on based upon how many views or how much engagement your content is getting. So for example, these are videos that are doing great views per hour on my channel. They're still bringing in people. This is the very latest video that I've uploaded since recording this video. Usually your latest video has higher views per hour. So that's, I don't really pay much attention to this unless it's been a week or two weeks or three weeks that this video is still bringing in lots of views per hour. But this video is older. It's about eight, seven or eight months old and it's still bringing in traffic. This one is about 10 months old, still bringing in traffic. This one is a year old. Both of these are probably almost a year old, bringing in lots of traffic. So they're telling me, Aaron, you need to create more content about some of these things. Things. These would be great things to pull more people in because people are still interested in this content that you've created. Same with this. These videos got high engagement rates. So they're telling me, Aaron, double down on these videos. These videos got a lot of views. They're telling me, Aaron, double down on that. Same with subscribers gained. And then they tell you some competitors' views per hour that you may be interested in creating videos on based on the videos that you should double down on. So 
super informative tool, you guys. I cannot explain it enough. And then it also goes into watch time, average watch time, total retention, top playlist, and top suggested non-owned. These aren't mine. So all of these videos, they're trying to tell you do more of these, all right? Content that could use some work. So these are videos that may not have done as well. Maybe they had low watch time like these videos. Um, maybe they had low like ratios. There weren't as many thumbs up on the videos. Low tension, low views, videos of losing subs. So um, make sure that you're also paying attention to these as well because you kind of know what direction to go in. Maybe you get a good sense of content that your audience does not like. Um, and also with the retention, know that the longer your video is, the, the smaller that retention will be. So if you have a 20 minute vlog like these, 27% um, could actually be they've watched eight minutes of watch time versus a video that is eight minutes and only they only watched four minutes of watch time, but they're looking at it as, oh, that was 50% retention. So also keep those things in mind. I think sometimes things can be a little bit skewed when you are just looking at the plain analytics, but also go inside of each video and see what's happening specifically for the video. Then it tells you average metrics over the last 30 days, your title length, um, your description length, tag length, playlists it looks like i need more playlists and it looks like i need to make better tags on my videos um, i never add cards so this could be something that i can do to improve my channel adding in screens to all of my videos so these are great tips giving your channel an audit without you having to go into your youtube analytics and figure it all out yourself because there are so many things that the youtube analytics tell you but you really might not know how to interpret it properly so that is the channel audit rule number three is the keyword inspector so you're going to go back into this extension and go into keyword inspector now i'm just going to search uh starting a business And it's gonna tell me um, whether or not this is a good keyword to use. And so um, how to start a business looks like it may be a better keyword to use. It's the, well, it's the most used. It has high search volume, but it also has high competition. So the overall score is 56. So basically um, vidIQ is ranking these tags based on their competition to search volume rate. So you can see which keywords are good to use in your videos it also shares with you some of the top trending videos uh using this search keyword so these are great to assess like thumbnails maybe you want to um get inspired by some thumbnails that are about this topic let's try one more um youtube growth hacks all right so youtube growth hacks competition is low uh, search volume is pretty high, so overall score is pretty good. So over here, I love this because you can see some great thumbnails where this video is getting 1.8 thousand views per hour, which is a great velocity, view velocity. It has 900,000 views and it was just uploaded 22 days ago. So maybe you wanna get inspired by you know some of these thumbnails where you can see what is trending using this tag or keyword so you can see that this person's videos are also doing pretty well um, all of them they're all trending so um, this is a great tool to use when you're trying to figure out good tags and how to really use good keywords for your SEO in your videos and also getting inspiration for thumbnails based on videos that a lot of people must be clicking on because maybe they have very effective thumbnails so um, another great tool for your channel. Feature number four, we're actually going to go into each video and look at the video analytics specifically. I love how vidIQ gives you so much information for each video. So uh, I'm going to click on my latest video and look at what it gave me as its thoughts basically so um the vidIQ 
information is populating down here. So basically it gave me a 44.3 out of 100, which isn't great. VidIQ score is the popularity of a video based on engagement and views relative to other videos on YouTube. Okay, so 99 out of 100 would mean that it's in the 99th percentile of videos on YouTube built on equal weight of views and engagements. So um, this is your overall score of the video. And then it says that the social engagement is great. The like ratio is great all of these things look pretty good but what i like to look at is this stuff too so it's saying that my title is too long so that could be something that i could work on to better optimize typically you don't need super long titles it's better honestly if they're a little bit shorter so uh yeah, my title was a little lengthy for this one. I also did not include any cards. So this arrow basically takes you to YouTube's studio for this video. So you can go ahead and make those changes. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and then it's also showing you your video tags and how well these tags are ranking. So you've got Aaron on demand as number two. You've got um, manufacturing, Aaron Winters, Aaron on demand top three. Um, and then all of the other ones are scored as well. They just show the top scoring tags. So this is very helpful information because if I post another video like this, I can see which tags are doing the best. So another thing I like is once I do click this button to go back to inside of the YouTube studio i like that it tells you suggested titles or keywords to include in your title and keywords to include in your description um this one is saying amazon product launch my product is not an amazon launch though so this actually wouldn't work but it is a great suggestion um, a great feature to have those suggestions if your title is too long or not properly optimized you can you know use these keywords it also gives you insight on the best time to post on your channel so i posted at 3 p.m it looks like it would have been better if i post between six and eight that is actually the peak time of viewers on youtube for my channel so um, maybe if I posted around 5.30 or 5 p.m. right before they're about to get on YouTube um, would have been a better time to get more of that view velocity. So you guys, a lot of these things are small tweaks that you can make, but vidIQ tells you this information that is so helpful to better optimizing your videos. This is a new feature. See what your video and thumbnail looks like in search results. Is your thumbnail and title compelling enough to click among the competitors? So let's compare thumbnails in the search results. Okay, so this is my thumbnail. And then these are other thumbnails about launching a product. So um, I would say that my thumbnail is pretty good and, you know, it is up to par with some of the other competitors who have similar, uh, who have similar vid videos. So this is also a great way to compare your thumbnail to other people's thumbnails. And maybe you need to do a little bit of tweaking because the thumbnail is really one of the most powerful tools to get people to click on your video. So another great tool. And then lastly, it's going to rank your tags, how well your video is tagged. And um, that's pretty much it. So let's get back to the camera. I'm going to share with you guys a special deal I have for you if you are interested in using vidIQ. All right, you guys, so vidIQ is literally a game changer if you are looking to supercharge your YouTube channel and really optimize it in a way that you kind of can't if you aren't using vidIQ. So if you're interested, there is a link in the description box that will give you one free month so you can try out all of these amazing tools and resources that they provide for your channel to see it literally grow without doing so much digging in your YouTube analytics. So go ahead and give it a try. Um, thank you to vidIQ for sponsoring this video. And I hope this is one of those missing pieces that you're going to find helps your channel really take off the way that you hope. So if you like this video, you are welcome to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be a part of my internet home, all you have to do is subscribe. We have so much fun talking about marketing, branding, YouTube growth, social media tips, and um, just sharing with you guys how I built my life and my business 
all at the same dang time. So if that sounds like your gym, all you gotta do is join the fam. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.